a flawless zigzag design that some say must have been cut by a laser. Stone blocks weighing 125 tonnes and were moved from the quarry site over three miles away. These are gigantic, megalithic blocks hauled into place by an unknown method and then sealed forever with joins so tight that a razor blade cannot fit between them. Gods in the sky appear to be the motivation at places of megalithic origin across the world. Obelisks and monoliths are seemingly abandoned at the quarry phase across the world and this is a great clue that they could no longer continue their work relating to events that they perceived in the sky. Hajar Im, one of the megalithic temples of Malta, its largest stone weighs 57 tonnes and measures approximately 19 feet long by 9 feet tall by 2 feet thick. Places like Derin Kuyu seem to have been efforts to create underground bunkers. Newgrange in Ireland, up until the 20th century, resembled just that, and the megalithic art found at Newgrange testifies to these plasmatic displays in the sky. Consider dolmens. These are a megalithic feature found all over the world, and there are over 30,000 in Korea alone. Thousands more in Europe, especially on the Irish west coast. Experts consider that these elaborate designs found across the planet were burial tombs or even territorial markers, but imagine if they were used as places of shelter from plasmatic bombardments happening in the sky. The heavy stone cut out of the bedrock was the only shield from this bombardment away from the cave systems of the earth and some are thought to depict sky events over 3000 years BC. How some of these stones were raised like this again remains a complete mystery. The Chinese believe that earth effects were related to the sky. These thoughts fade into myth over time, but they are born in the trauma of the Squatterman storms. This ancient study and obsession of the sky is answered by this trauma inflicted on people in the cataclysm. In some of the dolmens in China, are thought to contain details of these sky events, events that affected their cultural rise and religious belief. They forever kept a watchful eye until they forgot the belief in the event. Maybe the Great Wall was a similar purpose. The Uslo horizon must be the marker around the globe for the Squatterman storms. The Chinese star chart is the earliest known manuscript atlas of the night sky. It was produced in central China around the year 700 and it shows over 1,300 stars visible to the naked eye, centuries before the telescope was invented. And the three different colours, black, red and white, indicate those stars observed by three Chinese astronomers from ancient times, spanning over 1,000 years. And it's thought that they accurately plotted using a projection system to depict the curved sky on a flat piece of paper, invented by the Chinese before the 1st century BC. If the three massive megalithic stones at the Yangshan Quarry in China were all put together to form the envisioned dragon, then this would have weighed over 31,000 tonnes. The ancients had a fascination with dragons and serpents, and it is in government emblems to this day, as if the knowledge from the darkest embers of human history has somehow survived in our psyche. The Serpent Mound in Ohio is 1,348 feet long and 3 feet high. At one end is an egg, then the open mouth of the serpent, followed by a coiling snake and a spiral at the end. This petroglyph from the San Rafael Swell shows a similar image. The Serpent Mound is located in an impact crater. A similar, though less spectacular earthworks does exist in Scotland, known as the Loch Nell Serpent, found less than 100 miles away from where the Toei Balls were discovered. The Toei Balls themselves, a unique representation of this spiralling manifestation in the sky, the plasmatic disturbance that would lead to the formation of the Squatterman. But what do you guys think about this? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.